Oh, hey people. Uh, first up, new light. So, see if this actually helps the situation make my videos look any better. Um, I got an, a response to one of my uh, older videos. Um, the one about um, the, uh, the Truth of Fifty Shades of Grey uh, movie and Survivors of Domestic Violence. Um, here's the thing. This person, uh, decided to completely not understand BDSM at all by comparing what happened in Fifty Shades of Grey to a Serbian movie. Okay, if you have not seen a Serbian movie, and I have had the unfortunate um, experience of seeing this movie, there is no comparison. There is just no comparison. A Serbian movie is just a torture porn taken to its ultimate extreme. Okay. There are vast majority of things that happen in this movie that are not consensual. But yet in Fifty Shades of Grey, everything that happens is consensual. Your argument, and I will copy the entire text you have put on that video in, in below. Your argument is taking away the agency of the main character. First off, Anastasia uh, yeah, whatever. Did not sign up her fucking contract. Good job not knowing what the fuck you're talking about. Good job. Uh, if you actually watched the movie, she never signed the contract. The contract was used as a negotiation tool only. What you're bringing up is that this character um, in a Serbian film signed a contract that, you know, that, you know, that he would, you know, go and do these despicable, horrible acts on film. And yet that somehow justifies what he did. I'm sorry, but uh, raping children, murder, um... You know, all of these, you know, the, the all of the, the disgusting, horrible things that he did, just because he signed a piece of paper that said, I'm an actor in a film, does not make it something that he would be able to get away with legally. Just doesn't work that way. There's nothing that Christian did that was technically against the law. Yeah, you might think that he was a little stockish. But you know what? Guys pursue girls and girls pursue guys and girls pursue girls and, gr and guys pursue guys. This is part of the game. You may not have liked how he played the game, but she could have said, no, don't, and stop and walked away from him at any time. But yet, she didn't. Eventually, she did. But as we've seen in the, through the trailer of the new film, she goes back to him. This is called part of the game. To compare Fifty Shades of Grey to a Serbian film shows you have absolutely no idea what the hell you're talking about. These are two completely different 
worlds. Seriously. You are stretching to make an argument that makes no sense at all. So what that he signed a contract? That does not excuse him doing non-consensual things to people who are drugged, children, whatever else. I'm not going to get into it all because honestly I, I'm just disgusted even talking about it. Okay? None of that. None of that happened in Fifty Shades of Grey. None. There was no non-consensual activity in Fifty Shades of Grey. None at all. You know, people will go, well, what about the time that he, you know, he, he took her clothes off and, you know, you know, when she was unconscious. Yeah, you, you know, you're, you, you take somebody, you know, who's just thrown up all over themselves and you're just going to throw them into a bed with throw up all over themselves. Yeah. You're a nice person. You're the you're the right you're in the right by leaving a person with vomit all over themselves. Good job. No, no, no. Me and everybody every other right-thinking person would be thinking even though this person is unconscious, this is let me get them out of these clothing and get them, you know, get them into you know, get them cleaned up. So that when they do wake up, they're not got disgusting gross all over themselves. No, no, no. But your argument falls flat. Flat. A Serbian film is about a gentleman who chooses to go and do despicable acts. Criminal acts in pursuit of a paycheck. Fifty Shades of Grey is about the relationship between a person who might be somewhat naive but still who has agency and a person who is, you know, who has more experience and more knowledge but yet is a flawed human being. Yeah. Your argument makes no sense. So, think I'm wrong? Come at me. Tip for now. Be well and safe.